Yo, what's up chat? Today I'm coming at you guys with a massive video. There are gonna be over 30 plus games that I will have in this video. We're gonna be going through all the massive games that are gonna be coming out to the PS5, to the Xbox Series X. I'm definitely not gonna be including games where you play as strawberries. I mean, like, god damn it, dude. But uh, let's just get right into it. If you're new here, I cover all the big gaming news and sometimes I make videos like this. If that interests you, then hey, subscribe and hit that like button. It helps out a ton. But coming in at our number 33 spot, at no particular order, Order though uh, I'm just gonna be talking about games we got GTA 5 and let me tell you one thing about Rockstar games and GTA 5 this is gonna be a re-release and this is an accurate footage of GTA 5 coming to the PS3 to the 360 to the PS4 to the Xbox one to the PC and finally gonna be coming to the PS5 and the Xbox Series X needless to say that's just Rockstar for you and I mean god damn it dude like they didn't even show us the PS5 footage so yeah GTA 5 is gonna be coming out next year on PS5 and Xbox Series X then we got Watch Dogs Legion and I really, I really like the look of it, right? Like I played the first Watch Dogs game and I ended up liking it, but it started to feel a little bit repetitive. Then we had Watch Dogs 2, admittedly, I didn't really try it out, but Watch Dogs 3, Watch Dogs Legion, it looks pretty good. And I, I gotta say, this might carry me till GTA 6, so who knows? Looks pretty good. Gonna be coming out on PS5 and Xbox Series X on both consoles. Then we got Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man Morales was actually revealed during the PS5 Live event. It do be looking pretty good, but we're not sure if it's gonna be as big as the main Spider-Man game that came on the PS4, or is it gonna be like a side, side story? Uh, we're not really sure about it, but it's gonna be exclusive to the PS5. Then we got Senua Saga Hellblade 2, and this one so far is exclusive to the Xbox Series X. Uh, most likely gonna be exclusive gonna remain that way and it looks really really good i gotta be honest this is one of those games that feels like a next gen game like it feels really creepy and i, I like horror games but i don't like playing if that makes sense i i love watching the until dawn walkthrough on youtube probably gonna play it myself as well some someday because i got the ps now uh, on the sony pony ps4 at our number 29 we got destruction all stars and this game feels like a mixture of rocket league and fortnite combined like you can tell basically that's what a lot of scientists are saying a lot of astronauts feeling the same way but it does look really good uh, of course at times it feels a little bit weird it feels like a copy and paste but if the game is fun hey what else more you want right if the game is fun hey that's all that matters at the end at number 28 we got ghostwire tokyo and this game feels really solid but at times it feels a little bit weird it has the simulation effect it has a futuristic vibe to it the reason i like the look of it is because of course the graphics feels nice the setting is unique right like how many times we get to see tokyo in a game so that's why i'm like hey i like this game but at times it feels weird it feels like we're in a simulation it feels like hey it's futuristic whatnot i don't like that uh but uh i'm not sure where you guys are at though definitely let me know your opinions in the comments below then we got hitman 3 and hitman 3 do be looking good okay and i did not play the main hitman games i did watch it one of my buddies is a huge hitman fan so he was getting hit right in his g spot he never told me that but i would assume it was getting hit in the in the g spot but hitman 3 it has that horror vibe it also had that special detective kind of vibe as well and of course what else you want right like it's gonna be happening in dubai like dubai is the setting i i love dubai and and I think it's just one of those things, right? We do not see Dubai or settings like these in video games. It's normally the USA, America, America, America. It gets kind of old at times, but uh, Dubai for Hitman 3, I mean, bring it on. I think I'm gonna I'm play it. Then we got Returnal, and Returnal is uh, something that I'm not sure. Like, I look at it, it reminds me of that movie Martian, I believe that's what it was called. Also has the Edge of Tomorrow movie kind of vibe. You're continuously getting revived again. We do not really know a whole lot about this game. It can be a banger. It might not be, but judging based off the trailer, it does look good, but I'm not really mind blown. I, I'm not sure I'm not hitting the G spot. Smash the like button for me to be brave and uh, let you know how I feel. Then we got Deathloop, and some people are saying this is like Dishonored, Wolfenstein, and Bioshock combined. I never played any of those games, admittedly, like most of the time I only play like Battlefield, Call of Duty, GTA 5, and I call myself a gamer, but hey, it is changing. Like I played Last of Us Part 1, I know Part 2, a lot of memes going around, hey, it's man, whatever. Probably gonna be playing that game by the time this video comes out, but I've been playing Uncharted, God of War series, like, I love storytelling games, and I'm most likely gonna be getting, like, the Hitman, like, uh, Resident Evil, that's also gonna be on the list here in just a little bit, but Deathloop, I, I, I don't think it's for me, but 
a lot of people really like it and of course it's a bigger title so of course we had to have it speaking of another bigger title we got made in nfl 21 and i know some of you guys will say hey skizzle is this list a joke hey it's it's no joke as okay like it's a big title i know it looks like a ps3 game and admittedly we haven't seen a whole lot of it it's just a maiden game right it's just like call of duty maiden game but i would say call of duty is still bigger than maiden or these games in a way where we, we have a lot more upgrades a lot more updates maiden and nba games like such it's just like a roster change it's like the graphics are pretty much degraded you gotta understand this game is for ps5 and xbox series x and it does look like a like a ps3 game i i gotta be honest but i know a lot of people are fans of it i don't want to offend anybody smash a like button for me to be brave though right then we got cyberpunk now this is gonna be a big big title of course this list isn't really about worst to best this list is just random games you know like i'm not really ranking these games so that's why it comes at my number 23 spot but if we were really going off of worst to best i would put this baby somewhere close to top five easily easily maybe even number one or something like that but understand not a ranking series just a video for talking about all the games cyberpunk it's gonna carry me till gta 6 that's all i gotta say i'm most likely gonna cop this game most likely gonna live stream for you guys then we got nba 2k21 admittedly just more sweat that's what uh the scientists and experts are saying about this game and i'm not really hard for this game i know that there are a lot of basketball players some of you guys probably bought like nba 2k18 and you're like you know what nba 2k21 it's been three years i'm gonna cop it and you know what there is nothing wrong with that gonna be coming out on ps5 and xbox series x so what else you want but if you're somebody who is fed up with these games if you're somebody who's like hey there's nothing really big i, I would say yes it's not really a whole lot of upgrade just just more sweat then we got resident evil 8 and i never played any resident evil game in my life but this one it looks good i'm probably gonna cop it i love horror games but i don't like playing it but i think that it's gonna change very soon i'm gonna cop it probably gonna stream it then at our number 20 spot i think it's number 20 we got pragmata and this feels like a big big title and at times it does look really good i know that while people were watching the ps5 reveal some people were like hey is this infinite warfare 2 is this a call of duty game but nah guys like sorry to disappoint it's not an infinite warfare 2 the game looks really good look at those graphics i mean look at that water right look at those textures but i'm not really sure about the story i guess time will tell it's a it's gonna be a bigger title so you know look forward to that then we got godfall and admittedly i was really really hard for godfall you know when we first saw that trailer i was like this looks like god of war but in a good way it's gonna be different but you know what i'm i'm totally cool with it like bring it on i know god of war the next god of war game is still far away but the second i saw the gameplay it gave me an erectile dysfunction admittedly i i got that dopamine crash graphically it looks good and i totally agree it doesn't need to be god of war it can be a different game and that's perfectly acceptable i'm not denying that I know there is going to be a fan base that loves this game and that's perfectly fine but i think i had different expectations and that kind of just a lot of people are sad about this game as well people thought it's gonna be like a but it turned out to be a b uh, if that makes any sense but there will be a fan base i'm not denying that it's gonna be a bigger title gonna be a ps5 exclusive speaking of another ps5 exclusive we got gran turismo salmon and i played a lot of gran turismo in the early days especially on the ps3 and ps2 days and this one looks slick look at that ambient inclusion it's turned up like a mother effort then we got yakuza like a dragon it's a fighting game and at times it feels like an open world game at times i felt like i was just playing or watching a sleeping dogs gameplay i really hope you get sleeping dogs 2.0 or part 2 or some some sort of sequel i think sleeping dogs was a masterpiece i played it a long long time ago so i completely forgot about that game i, I mean i actually forgot about that game till i saw this gameplay so it kind of fired up that memory then we got starfield and starfield of course it's not really gonna happen i believe that it was originally teased back in 2017 or 2018 it's been a long long time and the only thing we got here is the teaser nothing more nothing less then we got dying light 2 it's a zombies game this is gonna be a current and next gen game looks pretty good but admittedly i did not play the first game i might cop it though i know there's a massive fan base for this game so we're gonna be getting it really good title then we got assassin's creed valhalla the game that's gonna be running at 30 fps and it's been confirmed by ubisoft so they're really sad about it like why like we got that 8k technology and they want to run this game at uh, 30 fps of course not 8k technology where we're gonna be able to play games 8k native it's just gonna be like 8k upscale but 4k 60 fps you would think it's gonna be possible but 
most likely not. I hope it's like 1080p or 2K 60 FPS capable if it's not 4K 60 FPS, but graphically the game looks amazing, the stunning looks amazing, and I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed series, but I kind of left after I would say Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I did not play any Assassin's Creed game right after that, but you know what? It's been a long, long time. I might cop it. I, I think this is it, but 30 FPS not helping it. At our number 13 spot, we got Ratchet and Clank, and admittedly, I know like this series on the PS3 days, so I love Ratchet and Clank, and it's been years since I played this game, so I might cop it. Of course, graphics aren't the best because we're talking Ratchet and Clank. I know a lot of people say, hey man, it looks like a PS4 game. Even I said it while I was watching it. Then I watched the 4K trailer, and I heard what the scientists had to say, and a lot of scientists and experts were saying that, look at the, the, the population, right? Like, the game is populated look at that ambient occlusion look at that shadows we got a lot of stuff flying around a lot of particles and of course the ps5 ssd is making it so the worlds load in faster and quicker without any delay whatsoever and i really like that fact of course it's like a cartoonish game so graphics aren't really gonna be realistic i think that if the stream was 4k ish it would have been a lot better. I'm not sure why Sony did 1080p's because uh, a lot of people were saying, hey, is this a joke? This is a PS4 game. Then we got Dirt 5 and it's a racing game. Looks pretty good. That's all I gotta say. Then we got Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 and it has that creepy vibe and I get the vibe. I mean, I'm not sure, but this guy looks like the guy that I've seen in Man of Steel or I should say Batman vs Superman. You know, there was a guy in the movie. I'm probably gonna put his image like, look at that. It looks pretty similar to me. I don't know why. Then we got Horizon Forbidden West. This is a sequel of the Horizon. I did not play the first one. I'm most likely gonna cop this game. It's looking to be the true next gen game like look at that water bro look at that underwater wall like it, it looks really good the sharpness it is crisp it's a, it's a crisp boy then we have star wars squadrons admittedly it was revealed just uh, a day ago at this point right i'm not sure when i'm gonna put this video out i'm probably gonna put this video out in two or three days from now we're hearing that its gameplay will be at ea play so depending on when i upload this video i may or may not include the gameplay but so far we only had the reveal trailer I did not play any Star Wars games before. <laughs> Once again, I call myself a gamer and I only play, most of the time, only play Call of Duty, GTA. But I, like I said, I do play story games, but I did not play any Star Wars games before. So really can't judge it. Then we got Demon Souls Remake. And again, I did not play the original Demon Souls game, but a lot of people are really happy with how this game is looking. The graphics looks really nutty. I, I gotta be honest, looks pretty good. A lot of people are really happy and that's what I like to see. Then we got Elder Scrolls 6 and this was, I believe, a tease. We have this like little announcement trailer and it's been ages since we got that. So we're not gonna be getting this game anytime soon, but whenever we do, it's gonna be a PS5 and Xbox Series X game. Then we got the medium and it has that creepy vibe. Feels like another sci-fi thriller, like a horror thriller or something like that. I'm not really sure about its story. It feels weird at times, but you know what? Like a horror game, they need to be weird in order to kind of like scare you, I, I, I guess. Next up, we got Bright Memory Infinite and I gotta be honest, the weapons feels like advanced warfare in this game. I'm not really into this game, but uh, a lot of people, or I should say some people who are a fan of this game, they will probably like it. So I had to include it in the video. Then we got second extension and I love this game. Look at those weapons. I feel like the weapons feels really, really good. The graphics aren't the best. It's a dinosaur survival game and I, I like the look of it. It's a pre-beta gameplay footage. So of course it's not finalized. But whenever the game comes out, it's not really gonna be that different, right? I, I like the look of it. The weapons feels really good. It's a dinosaur survival game. I really want to see something like that come to a Battlefield game because, of course, if you are a fan of Battlefield, you know, they always tease, like, the, the dinosaur stuff. There are always dinosaur Easter eggs in a Battlefield game. And I think that dinosaur survival, if that's, like, a side mode in a Battlefield game, I know some people will disagree. But you know what I mean. Like, it's gonna feel different. It's gonna feel unique. It's gonna be, I think it can boost that replayability for the battlefield franchise just like how call of duty got like zombies battlefield dice they can have a dinosaur mode I, I i would dig it but second extension looks pretty good at our number three we got halo infinite and this is gonna be a bigger title but we're not sure when exactly this is gonna come out of course they have said holiday 2020 but a lot of insiders a lot of uh, there are a lot of rumors let's say that are saying it's not gonna be ready for holiday 2020 it's looking to be an early 2021 release but of course time will tell us it's gonna be an xbox exclusive so gotta be honest looks pretty nice at our number two spot we got battlefield 6 admittedly we got no gameplay but it has been confirmed by ea and dice to be coming out next year 
Really stoked for this game, really hope it's a modern day game, really hope it feels like a Battlefield 3 game as well, but I definitely want a new game. I, I think it can be a really big title and I really am excited for it. At our number one spot, we got Call of Duty 2020. This game is also confirmed to be coming out fall 2020, but there are a lot of rumors and leaks that suggest that it's gonna be delayed. I mean, we have the evidence, right? Like, it hasn't been revealed yet, we got no trailer, no gameplay, but Activision confirmed that it's gonna be coming out this year. Really hoping it's a complete game because right now what we're hearing it's a mess it's not looking good i would rather this game be delayed and be polished than you know come out and it's all buggy of course i don't want any delays but i would prefer delays over an unfinished mess if that makes sense but these are all the bigger titles that we're gonna be getting of course there will be a lot more i'm probably gonna make a part two of this one in the near future if this is something that interests you guys Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, click on any of the video on the screen, it's gonna give you a kick of dopamine and I will see you right there.